Holy guacamole. It is freaking windy. You would think we were in Chicago, but no, this is New Jersey. And my flag is upside down. <laughs> you like our new little gnome? He's got a tan. It was so cute. We saw him at we saw him at Walmart the other night, and I insisted that we get him. And we did. I got my other Amazon packages. Oh, I just got stuck in the door. Oh. Oh. So this. I didn't even finish opening up my organizers from yesterday, but this is my other package that came with, I believe, the three other items that I ordered from Amazon the organizers. Guess what it is, guess what it is, guess what it is, guess what it is, it's yours! Bunny thinks that I ordered these organizers for her, but little does she know, none of it's for her. Bunny, are you trying to own it? I told her to own it, so that's what she's doing. Guess what it is, guess what it is, guess what it is, it's yours. Bunny, own it, 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 own it. <laughs> Bunions, Bunions boots. And she thinks she's funny owning my package. Bunions, Bunions boots. My packages. Lumper wants to be an organizer. Are you organizing this video? Are you? Are you organizing this video, Thumper? You might be. Thumper Bumper, what do you have to say? He's so cute. So, this is one of the boxes. The one that came today. And then, shucks, I dropped my computer on the floor. Well, that's great. Um, that's what I got for putting it on things and it's been long on. Then this is another box from the order yesterday. And this is another box from the order that came yesterday. And then I have a few boxes in here. I ordered a bunch of stuff, so let's see. Okay, so this is for what I was probably gonna use in my makeup drawer in my bedroom. It's an acrylic organizer. different size compartments so like I could put lip products here maybe or little concealers or skincare things that fit in here or here maybe some palettes if they fit here or here or here depending on like what I have to work with I'll probably do another video to show you how I'm going to organize it and my brainstorming for this, but this is one organizer that I purchased from Amazon from Shop Story. And they have all different designs. You can see this. And so that's one of them. I'm gonna put this back in there. Okay. The other one in here, I believe, is on the scissor. There's like two of them that I'm picturing. No. Whoa! Oh, I know what this is. I didn't realize I had to put this together. I'm like assembling thing. But in a nutshell, this one is the other kitchen like thing that I bought. The end result is going to be something like similar to this, where it's like, and then things on the side, it's wood, or at least it looks like wood. 
I was hoping it was already assembled, but it's not. So I'll give you an idea of what the material looks look like. And get one of these out of the box. One of them. So, they're numbered. Shelves by numbers. So imagine this. This is the base. And then there's a shorter one that goes like this for the back. And then that's one tier. And then there's the bottom tier like this. And then one like that, which is like about a half size for the back. And then it has the side things to keep it together. So that's what that is. I'm hoping it was going to come pretty assembled, but apparently it's not. I gotta put it together, or Daniel will put it together. Yeah, that's the back. So, it's gonna be like this up here, and then another one like that down there. So, that's the idea for this. Build by numbers. And so that's two. And then there's two or three more pieces, maybe four more pieces in the other box. I'm not going to do some really stuff about it. Breaking stuff. Very good at breaking things. I know I can do it. I really set my mind to it. I can. It's not impossible. <laughs> I don't always have the patience for it. Especially because I'm the kind of person where I'm like, why should I do it and you can do it? Alright, so, depends on what it is. This is mystery. And I love how Thumper was watching and Bunny's watching now. Hey little girl. So like what's mommy doing? This is Okay, this, I have something like this already. They're like palette organizers. You can put mini palettes or longer palettes across. So I was maybe gonna put this in my drawer. My drawer is really not that big, so I may just keep some of these on the side. So I got one of these in this box and then another one of these in this box. I'm probably not gonna open it up yet because I'm not ready to use it. But that's what these are. And, and then there's one, I'm gonna put this back in here. There's one thing in here that I got purposefully for my like dresser where I keep products. When I say products, I mean skincare or little makeup products that I'll probably use more often. Not every but more often for sure. And that's what I was planning on using for one of these organizers. So I'm not going to my drawer all the time. But I'm, I'm still debating on it. Okay, so these are baskets I got for maybe the kitchen. Maybe not. We're trying to figure out what to do with these. But it actually shows you what they look like on the box, which is nice. So this is something else I bought for the kitchen aside from this spice rack holder thing. They're baskets. And it comes with four of them, four wire baskets or storage baskets. They pretty much look like this. You know, there's no secret there. And 
Yeah, I figured why not. And we could always use them in the kitchen, or we can use them somewhere else. A bowl. Because I, now that I'm looking at this, I have a bunch of pillowcases that I don't use that I was either going to donate or hold on to. But how many? We only have room. Like two bedrooms. I have like enough pillowcases to serve a whole neighborhood. How many pillowcases do we need? So I don't know. But these are nice, you know, organization. So I figured we can make some use out of these. And lastly is that other organizer that I bought for my makeup. Depending on using on my dresser, and that should be in this box here. It's, um, I wasn't sure, like, because sometimes they give you color options, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, whatever color you like. So I'm not really too particular, but it wasn't, it wasn't translucent, or, you know what I mean, like a translucent color, and it wasn't black, and it wasn't brown. But my furniture, you know, my dressers are all dark brown for the most part. So I was trying to go in that realm of color scheme. And then I realized I didn't really have that, but this was like, we'll say, like a mauve ish color. And thought this might be small enough where I could fit this and then I was going to move my hair accessories on my cart in my room. When he's looking at me, I'm actually talking to the audience. You are my audience. So this is the bottom. It's really pretty to be honest. It's like a pinkish mauve. I don't know. I figured it would kind of complement the brown and it's still very feminine like me. <laughs> All over this plastic, it says it's dangerous. Keep it away from children and uh, babies, friends, guys, baby parents. It's not a toy. Don't put it in your carriage. Keep it away. So it has this one, that one. It's a new version of kind of what I had before when we lived in the apartment. And then it has this top section where again I could put lipsticks or something, skincare samples like I have, maybe some primer. It's a pen. I might keep a primer like the new one I just got from Dr. Brandt. That one I actually really like. The minimizing one. So it would look like this. It's pretty. Just a stack on there. So put like lipsticks or little tubes of skincare, like different vials of stuff. And um, it's like a mauve pink. I would call this a mauve. Mauve pink. But it can kind of complement the brown, you know, in my bedroom better than the other colors. I was like, let's get into that. So yeah, I'm going to put this back in the box, but I wanted to show you what this is. And the one, the spice rack thing is in the kitchen set up already. And I'm going to show you these guys too. And eventually I'm going to put them together and I'm going to show you how I do that. Because that might be a lot easier for me to organize before I do anything else. So that's my plan on that. And that's my um, Amazon unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm a hot mess for lately. I'm like working, but I gotta get back to work. But I'll see you all later. Lifestyles of the lady that works from home full time. Mm-hmm. 
Shadow the Rich and Famous, it's the lifestyle of the lady that works full time from home. Making my videos either on my days off or like in between work. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. It's annoying because uh, it's like the girl cut it short, which is nice, but when I put it my hair up, it doesn't go up all the way. I'm gonna take it down. It's down. It's just I have to wash it today, I know. Lifestyles of the lady that works full time from home. That's me. Alright, I'll see you all later. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Lulu's World. It's my world. Not yours. It's mine, but you can borrow it sometime. Bye.